Yar. Today we be talking about Governor Billy Weld. Yar. Welcome everybody to today's episode of Government Update with Nate. I am Nate, and I'll try to give you all the facts that I can find on politicians and governments, and I'll try to give you those facts as straight as humanly as possible. So today we're going to review the candidacy platform because he doesn't really have a voting record of Governor Bill Weld, former governor of Massachusetts. Bill Weld. He's the vice presidential candidate on the Libertarian ticket for president. All right. So before I get into that, I wanted to thank everybody for watching and sharing and liking my video on Mike Pence. I got a whole host of awesome feedback and a whole host of awesome new views. So I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you like today's episode. So Bill Weld comes from a long line of Americans that came over across on the Mayflower. So he's like the OG American. His family is at least one of them served as a general in the Civil War. One of them um, was a Declaration of Independence signee. I think it's William Floyd was the name. Um, his wife or former wife was a descendant, uh, great, 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 great granddaughter of uh, Teddy Roosevelt. So that's kind of cool. So his whole family has been entrenched and enriched in the American, you know, kind of building, founding the country um, since way back when before it was even a country. So that's kind of cool coming from his history. And let's move on to what he did as the governor of Massachusetts. So he's kind of boasted in a lot of their stump speeches that he was a very fiscally conservative uh, governor. And in Massachusetts, that's kind of out of the ordinary because Massachusetts is a fairly blue state. Um, one thing I should note for those of you who do not know, up until 2016, Bill Weld was registered and he did come out and kind of act as a Republican, and he just switched to the Libertarian sort of platform in 2016 for the presidential race. So all of his previous experience in politics as is as a Republican. So as a Republican governor of Massachusetts, he cut a lot of budget year over year, cut it every single time he was in, uh, in office from 1991 to 1997. And he also privatized a lot of human services jobs that were once held by the government. Um, and then he also supported some gun control laws for people that were under the age of 21, which ultimately that law that specifically I'm talking about did not pass when that was going around. I believe that was 1995 he supported that law. It did not pass, but he did support um, limiting the amount of guns that anybody could get if you're under the age of 21. So let's move on to their candidacy platform and I'm not going to go into every single part of their candidacy because I will get into it with Gary Johnson's video which will be coming up when I do the sweep of presidential candidates. However, two main things I wanted to highlight. One is their tax code and their kind of how they want to revamp the taxes in the American politics or in the American economy. And one of those, the biggest main point is eliminating the income and payroll taxes and uh, switching to a consumption, single payer consumption tax, um, which actually taxes you for how much you spend and how much you consume versus how much you actually make in. So it's kind of an interesting way of looking at the tax system and it's a pretty libertarian way of looking at the tax system. But that's something that's interesting that not a lot of candidates are talking about is switching the whole taxpayer system uh, to a consumption tax. And the last thing I want to highlight is that they want to make the immigration process more efficient and uh, easier for people to come in through uh, the immigration process legally to incentivize people to do the process legally and not cross into the United States or come into the United States as an illegal immigrant. With that being said, thank you very, very much for watching today's episode on Bill Weld. Be sure to check out next week's episode on the Democratic vice presidential candidate, Tim Kaine. I will see you next time. Peace.